Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, oh, I'm so excited. We are one week away from October and I just want to get the ball rolling. So for today's video, I decided to do Lady Gaga from the American Horror Stories. So she is in season five and it's called Hotel and this is the look that I want to do. There is several different kind of looks on Lady Gaga during the whole season, but this is the one that I decided to do. If you want to see how I get this look right here, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna get Prit Stick and I'm going to actually block my brows because my brows are so dark and Lady Gaga is very pale. So, ugh. We're going to have to block them out. The best way to do this is make sure that there is no oil on your eyebrows at all. Otherwise, this will not work. So then I'm going to get some Prit Stick. And this one is safe to use on your face. And what you want to do is coat them. Coat your brows up like so. Making sure that every bit of hair is covered in this Prit Stick. You want to do both sides, obviously keep pushing them up like that okay so once your brows are stuck up like crazy you want to let that dry so what I kind of like to do is do the skin like from here down and then just keep going back at them until they're blocked so it just saves time that's all so I'm gonna go in with my foundation now and I'm going to mix the Revolution White with my own because she is not Casper White. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of my foundation just to balance out the lightness of my skin. So this is the Revolution F0 and this one is F5.7 is my natural shade. Ooh. So what you wanna do is just put the white underneath the eye, say, and this will act as a highlighter so you know the way we would naturally put the lights there well we can put the white foundation there it's just gonna make it look like it's highlighted even more and then here and then here and then in the center so just tap they're still a bit sticky let them dry there is no point in rushing your brows honestly it's just not worth it because you'll have to start all over again so now I'm going to go in with my own like natural everyday foundation. Well, it's a bit on the lighter side because I'm more tanned. But that's why I picked this one. And then boop and boop. Then you want to just buff that in. Oh, I look crazy. But you want to go, you will look crazy because she has no brows on this. You want to go down the neck. And don't forget that neck because we will be applying blood so the neck and ears and all that good stuff will be in the picture so don't forget it i'm just going to then go over my lids i look really white in the camera <laughs> the brow is dry i'm going to go in with another layer because if you put too much it will peel so i'm just going to go in with another layer make sure that these hairs are glued down so you can get a hair dryer on cold and just do that so to speed things up okay so i just did the other one off camera just to save time so basically once you have two layers of your glue and your brow is dry i like to go in with a translucent powder so this is rcma and then a little brush so we're going to coat this with translucent powder this just stops the concealer that we're going to put on top from mixing in with the glue and making it back wet again so we're just coating a light layer of translucent powder and then what i like to do is i'm going to go in with my concealer oatmeal number two barry m this is a foundation color as well it's not white because we want to block the color of my brow and this is how we're going to do it is by can you see that placing this color ooh. And this color on top so if you go with the hair it's going to be easier for you to cover and then you want to set that as well so get your setting powder it's a lot of layering to black brows especially when you have as dark as brows as myself so i just go in with translucent powder and tap over tap tap tapity tap and then you can just like go over it again. Looking crazy. But 
I'm kind of happy with that so I'm just going to blend that in with that brush that I'm just using like so so now all we've done is our base and we have removed our brows as much as we can in the picture her brows are actually bleached but I ain't doing that so I'm just gonna block my brows and we can go from there so I'm just going to go over my lid with some white foundation because I didn't get enough on it oh that's a lot I'm not gonna lie colour that all in and then I'm just gonna go over with my foundation brush and just try and like blend that as much as I can into our fake brow or our non-existent brow set the entire face with translucent powder and neck carnival palettes whoa shock shocker fluffy brush dusk and I'm going to go on above my eye socket and then out really high like this so go now all her eye looks basically have this really high cat lift so we really do need to emphasize that so I'm going right up to where my brow bone would have ended now that we've took taken it off so we're just doing above the crease and then lift above and lift okay and then just keep building that up and then I'm gonna go a little bit on the lid with this like that because it kind of fades on the lid a little bit and then just make sure to always lift it at the corner don't go underneath like that keep it all high once you have that done I'm going to get a little brush so this one is by my kit co number 1.20 and I'm going to go into a nice like black eyeshadow so this one's from the carnival 3 and she's kind of got this like corner here cat lift absolutely love so if you just barely coat the lashes don't go like too far in just keep it towards the middle this is where you're going to need to get it nice and tight up like that so you want to create a little wing with this little brush say about like that just do it bit by bit you're doing a little v moment here like so and you want to just kind of color the top of the lid in but if you need to be more precise I like using these flat brushes so that's what I'm going to do for the top part of my eye here so you just want to create the wing with the black eyeshadow and you want to just use an eyeshadow because her wing liner is very messy like it's very just messy is the only way I could describe that and then just point it as far up as you can so now all you need to do is a lash on mascara top and bottom I already had some from earlier today because I was in work she literally only has mascara on she doesn't have any like false lashes so then what I like to do we're not finished with the eyes but I'm going to do that bit that I want to do last contouring so you want to grab a contour and brush. This one is from Real Techniques Makeup Artillier. And I'm really using the coolest tone in this. She's very grey on her contour. And if you kind of just bring it in halfway towards your middle of your pupil like that. And then turn it down a little bit. It gives you that like slender look. Can you see that? Like that. So you want to go down and down like that let the brush slip off at the end do the same on the other side it's just going to create that her face is very drawn and then down 
okay something just fell by itself right so you're just going down like that so i'm gonna go and i'm really gonna contour the forehead like so and i'm gonna close it off and leave the center nice and bright we're just giving the face some definition and down and down and down so it's coming along next I'm gonna do the lips so her lips are not like red red so I picked this color which is agenda I'm just popping it just in the center like that because like I said her lips aren't red red and then I'm gonna go in with MAC Diva and go like on top coating the sides like that so you have this kind of like ombre finish and you can pat it like that if you like and then I'm gonna get cyber just at the corners Perfect, and then I'm gonna just use my finger and I'm just gonna melt them together. Perfect. So we're nearly done, believe it or not. So what I like to do next is do the little like blood marks on the skin. So this is what I'm gonna do. Color trip, I'm, I'm using the black liner in this palette paintbrush and I'm just gonna do like little nicks kind of like cut marks oh and she actually has a little black dot here so don't forget nick 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 like a little nicks it's like from her nails and then what I'm gonna do is what I've been dying to do really is put this MAC clear lip gloss make sure you don't put anything that's a plumper on your eyes so I'll just pop this on with my finger basically all over the lid and anywhere that you did that dusky brown eyeshadow honestly yes living I already feel like Lady Gaga I mean, look. You're gonna wanna add some blood. So fake blood in particular. <laughs> and this one is FX Blood by Krylon. And I'm just using this to put it on me because I don't wanna ruin any brushes. I am wearing a black top. I always wear these kind of tops so I don't ruin anything. And then you're just gonna coat them black dots Really just make sure that the most of the colour of the blood goes on the black dot and then scrape down because we want to say that, we want to like mimic that that is the puncture wound. Does that make sense? Um, also, I'm going to do a little blood there. And then all you have to do is add your accessories. So be right back. And voila, this is the final look. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I cannot do hair, so you may do that yourself. There is no hair tutorial for this, clearly hanging off. This wig is from Sheen. I will try and link it all down in the description box. Glove from Sheen, this ring from Sheen. Like how cheap and how quick was that look? So quick, so simple, and definitely fun to do. I actually can't stop looking at myself. It's the wig and the no brows for me. I'm sorry. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this little makeup tutorial, and I shall be doing more. 
Halloween looks and they're all going to be themed well not all like most of them are going to be themed through the American Horror Stories so I just can't wait to showcase it to you and yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and I shall see you in the next video bye